His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa attended the Union March in Al Wathaba region of Abu Dhabi as part of the annual Sheikh Zayed Festival in celebration of the UAE's 53rd National Day. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Prime Minister conveyed congratulations of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan on this occasion. His Royal Highness also offered his congratulations on this national occasion. He emphasized the strength of the long-standing Bahrain UAE relations which continue to be strengthened by His Majesty the King and His Highness the UAE President. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister highlighted the significance of official visits between leadership of both countries in enhancing bilateral relations. He praised the events held at the Union March which showcased the unity, culture and heritage of the UAE through various artistic and cultural performances. His Royal Highness extended his wishes for continued progress to the UAE and its citizens on this occasion. The Union March is one of the main events of the Sheikh Zayed Festival held annually during the UAE's National Day celebrations, featuring cultural performances on the main stage of El Wathba Square. The event featured representatives from tribes across the Emirates who performed traditional songs. His Royal Highness was accompanied by His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and senior officials. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, inaugurated the 20th edition of the IISS Manama Dialogue Security Conference. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad said that under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, Bahrain is committed to supporting regional and international security, peace and development. He stressed the importance of collective efforts to strengthen regional and global security and stability, address emerging challenges and achieve sustainable solutions that benefit all nations. His Royal Highness underscored the importance of security as a cornerstone of sustainable development, emphasizing its role in fostering regional and global stability, a shared aspiration of the international community. He highlighted the role of strategic partnerships in advancing international security and peace and touched on the role of international forums, conferences and summits as platforms for exchanging perspectives on regional and international developments, therefore strengthening collective efforts to promote global security and peace. He recognized the success of the Manama Dialogue over the past 20 years as an international platform addressing the world's most pressing foreign policy, defense and security challenges. Notably, he highlighted its role in fostering dialogue and collaboration to advance global comprehensive and sustainable development goals. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, Prime Minister underlined that the IISS Manama Dialogue witnessed broad international participation and a scoring its importance in fostering strategic perspective and innovating approaches to maintaining regional security and stability, reflecting a strong global commitment to addressing key security challenges. He welcomed senior delegates from the global foreign policy and defense community to this event, wishing it success for this year's summit. During the opening, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Zayani, gave a keynote speech in which he highlighted Bahrain's commitment to the principles of dialogue, coexistence, and mutual respect, extending hands of friendship and cooperation to like minded friends and partners, noting that these efforts seek sustainable and mutually beneficial outcomes to the issues affecting the Middle East and the world. In his speech, the Minister of Foreign Affairs noted the importance of the international rules-based order for long-term prosperity, referring to the landmark Comprehensive Security Integration and Prosperity Agreement signed between Bahrain and the U.S. In this regard, El Zayani emphasized that the U.K. will be formally invited by Bahrain and the U.S. to become CSIPA's third member. The Director General and Chief Executive of the IISS, Dr. Bastian Grigorich, gave a speech highlighting the challenges facing the region and underscoring the need for unified international cooperation and efforts to address these issues and promote security and prosperity for all. Senior officials and delegates were also in attendance.
In his inaugural address, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdullah Latif bin Rashid Zayani, welcomed His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister and the distinguished participants. He praised the vision of His Majesty the King on the establishment of the Manama Dialogue 20 years ago. He hailed His Royal Highness role as the driving force behind the forum's importance in addressing regional challenges and commended the IISS for its contributions to fostering meaningful discussions. The minister underscored Bahrain's diplomatic approach rooted in principles of dialogue, coexistence and mutual respect and affirmed that Bahrain extends the hand of friendship and cooperation to friends and partners. Dr. Zayani further highlighted Bahrain's leadership during the Arab summit in May. He detailed Bahrain's bilateral and multilateral efforts ref referencing the comprehensive security integration and prosperity agreements signed with the U.S. in 2023. The agreement aims to deepen global security and prosperity through mutual respect and collaboration. Dr. Zayani said that the agreement was designed as a multilateral framework to bring together like-minded countries to promote stability and growth. He also said that Bahrain and the U.S. will formally invite the U.K. to join this agreement as a third member during this weekend. Al Zayani echoed His Royal Highness' remarks at the UN General Assembly, where the latter highlighted the growing unpredictability of global challenges. He emphasized that global challenges not only persist, but have intensified as the world finds itself at a more dangerous and unpredictable time due to major shifts in the global geopolitical order. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, His Highness Prince Faisal bin Farhan Al Saud, on the sidelines of the 20th edition of the IISS Manama Dialogue. His Royal Highness affirmed the long standing Bahrain Saudi relations, which continue to advance under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. His Royal Highness noted the efforts of Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince, Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud in enhancing the Bahrain-Saudi partnership. He noted the role played by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques in enhancing regional security, peace and development and serving Arab and Islamic causes. His Royal Highness emphasized Bahrain's commitment to more bilateral collaboration in various fields to achieve shared aspirations. The meeting also discussed regional and international issues and for his part, His Highness Prince Faisal bin Farhan expressed his gratitude for His Royal Highness commitment to the partnership and wished Bahrain for the progress and prosperity. The National Security Advisor, Secretary General of the Supreme Defense Council, Commander of the Royal Guard, Lieutenant General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Interior Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Minister of Foreign Affairs Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Zayani, and the Minister of Finance National Economy Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa also attended this meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, uh, Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met with the Kuwait Minister of Foreign Affairs, Abdullah Ali Al Yahya, on the sidelines of the IISS Manama Dialogue. His Royal Highness highlighted the strength of the Bahraini Kuwait relationship, which continues to receive the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Mash'al Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah. His Royal Highness affirmed the long-standing relations and partnership between the two countries, strengthened by a history of multi-sectoral collaboration. He noted the shared commitment to further bilateral relations and build on collaboration across various sectors to achieve mutual aspirations that benefit both countries and their peoples. The meeting also discussed the latest regional and international developments and for his part, El Yahya expressed gratitude for His Royal Highness' commitment to enhancing bilateral relations and wished Bahrain for the progress and prosperity. The National Security Advisor, Secretary General of the Supreme Council, Defense Council and Commander of the Royal Guard, His Highness Lieutenant General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Zayani, and the Minister of Finance, National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. 
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met with the U.S. Deputy National Security Advisor for Cyber and Emerging Technology and Nubrazil on the sidelines of the IISS Manama Dialogue. His Royal Highness highlighted the long-standing Bahrain-U.S. relations, which are bolstered by a strategic partnership and collaboration, particularly in military and defense, with the most recent example being the Comprehensive Security Integration and Prosperity Agreement, CSIPA. His Royal Highness noted that the CSIPA is designed not as a bilateral arrangement, but as the beginning of a multilateral framework that aims to bring together countries with an equal interest in delivering stability and prosperity. It is a model for how nations can promote an inclusive vision grounded in mutual respect and shared goals. His Royal Highness underlined that engaging in wide-ranging partnerships such as these will be crucial to advancing the cause of multilateralism and ensuring that cooperation becomes the cornerstone of our collective security frameworks. Through such agreements, His Royal Highness expressed confidence that the Middle East and the global community can build a future rooted in peace, economic growth and a rules-based international order that benefits all. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad emphasized the importance of advancing bilateral relations to achieve mutual aspirations and benefit both nations and their peoples. He highlighted the advanced levels of cooperation between Bahrain and the U.S., emphasizing the pivotal role of the U.S. along with its allies in safeguarding security and stability both regionally and internationally. His Royal Highness emphasized Bahrain's support for all regional and international efforts aimed at achieving peace and stability, contributing to the advancement of sustainable development for all nations and peoples. The meeting also discussed ways to enhance cooperation in the military and defense fields. And the Minister of Finance, National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Minister of Defense Affairs, Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassel Nuaimi, and the BDF Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Thayyib bin Saqar Nuaimi, also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met with Singapore's Minister of Defence, Dr. Ning Eng Han, on the sidelines of the IISS Manama Dialogue. His Royal Highness emphasized the strength of Bahraini-Singapore relations and the shared commitment to enhancing the partnership in various fields to achieve mutual aspirations and benefit both countries. His Royal Highness also highlighted the growth of both countries' relations in various fields, noting the importance of strengthening bilateral ties. The meeting discussed the latest regional and international developments and the Minister of Finance, National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Defense Minister, Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassel Nuaimi, and the BDF Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Thayyib bin Saqal Nuaimi, also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met with Hungary's Minister of Defense, Christoph Svali Bobrov Nikti, on the sidelines of the Manama Dialogue. His Royal Highness affirmed the importance of enhancing bilateral ties between both countries, a relationship that witnessed steady growth in various fields. His Royal Highness highlighted Bahrain's commitment to furthering coordination to achieve shared aspiration. The meeting also discussed the latest regional and international issues, and the National Security Advisor, Secretary General of the Supreme Defense Council, Commander of the Royal Guard, Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance, National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa, Al Khalifa, the Minister of Defense Affairs, Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassel Nuaimi, and the BDF Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Thayyib bin Saqar Nuaimi, also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met with Norway's Minister of Foreign Affairs. Espen Barthaidi on the sidelines of the 20th edition of the IISS Manama Dialogue. His Royal Highness affirmed Bahrain's commitment to strengthening bilateral relations between both countries. He highlighted the cooperation coordination between the two kingdoms, contributing to the achievement of mutual aspirations. The meeting discussed ways to enhance bilateral relations and the latest regional and international developments. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Zayani, and the Minister of Finance, National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa attended this meeting. Mm. 
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met with Estonia's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Margus Chaskana, on the sidelines of the Manama Dialogue. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of strengthening bilateral relations between both countries to achieve shared aspirations. His Royal Highness reaffirmed the commitment of both countries to enhancing cooperation and coordination in many fields. The meeting also discussed ways to enhance bilateral relations and the latest regional and international developments. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, and the Minister of Finance, National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, attended this meeting. As part of the Manama Dialogue, the National Security Advisor, Commander of the Royal Guard, Lieutenant General Sheikh His Highness Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received Oman Secretary General of the National Security Council, Major General Idris Ibn Abdul Rahman Al Kindi. His Highness welcomed the Secretary General and praised the fraternal relations between the two brotherly countries in all fields. They discussed means of enhancing joint cooperation within the framework of the bilateral strategic relations and discussed the most prominent regional and international issues. And the National Security Advisor, Commander of the Royal Guard, Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received U.S. Assistant Secretary of State for Near Eastern Affairs, Barbara Leaf. His Highness stressed the advanced and distinguished levels of bilateral relations and the paths of cooperation and coordination, especially in military and defense. They discussed the strong friendly relations between both countries and ways to enhance the strategic partnership between them, as well as the latest regional and international developments. The National Security Advisor, Commander of the Royal Guard, His Highness Lieutenant General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense for Middle East Affairs at the U.S. Department of Defense, Daniel Shapiro. His Highness stressed keenness to furthering bilateral relations between both countries towards higher levels in order to achieve the two brotherly countries' common goals. The meeting also discussed the latest regional and international developments. The National Security Advisor, Commander of the Royal Guard, Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the British Minister of State for Middle East, North Africa, Afghanistan and Pakistan, Hamish Falconer. His Highness praised the distinguished cooperation and coordination between both countries, especially with regards to military coordination and security and defense cooperation. They also discussed current regional and international issues. The National Security Advisor, Commander of the Royal Guard, Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the former UK Secretary of State for Armed Forces and Europe, Leo Doshery. His Highness welcomed the Secretary of State and praised the role played by the UK in regional and international fields and its efforts and constructive contributions in consolidating the basis of security and stability in the world. They discussed ways of enhancing the strategic partnership between the two friendly countries and the latest regional and international developments. The National Security Advisor, Commander of the Royal Guard, Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the UK Senior Defence Advisor for the Middle East, Rear Admiral Edward Algren. They reviewed topics of common interest and the latest regional and international developments. His Highness stressed the importance of continuing to enhance joint coordination and pushing it towards more advanced levels to achieve the desired goals.
The National Security Advisor, Commander of the Royal Guard, Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received France's Deputy Director General of the International and Strategic Relations, Lieutenant General Eric Pelletier. His Highness emphasized the importance of the friendship and cooperation between both countries and the advanced level of cooperation in light of the aspirations of both countries to enhance the cooperation. His Highness pointed out the importance of developing cooperation opportunities in a way that contributes to achieving their common goals. The meeting also discussed enhancing relations between the two countries as well as regional and international issues. The National Security Advisor, Commander of the Royal Guard, Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met with Hungary's Minister of Defense, Christoph Bobrovinsky. His Highness affirmed that the close relations between the two countries are moving towards more prospects and aspirations and are witnessing development. He pointed out the joint keenness to continue developing these relations to higher levels, which contributes to realizing their common aspirations. The meeting reviewed the latest regional and international developments. The National Security Advisor, Commander of the Royal Guard, Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received Singapore's Minister of Defense, Dr. Nig Enghan. His Highness stressed the importance of continuing to enhance bilateral cooperation between both countries and working to support the prospects of bilateral cooperation for the benefit of the two friendly countries. The meeting, the meeting also reviewed the latest regional and international developments. In the presence of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa, Vice President of the Supreme Council for Environment, Deputy Chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, and His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the sixth race of the 24-25 horse racing season was held at the club's track in Al Rafa, sponsored by the National Bank of Bahrain. The race was also attended by a number of their Highnesses and prominent figures in addition to representatives of the sponsoring entities and a large audience of enthusiasts. The winners were crowned with the National Bank of Bahrain Cups where His Highness Sheikh Sultan al-Din bin Mohammed bin Salman al-Khalifa received the first round cup from NBB representative while His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Isa bin Salman al-Khalifa received the second round cup from the CEO of the NBB group, Uthman Ahmed. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed and His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Hashem bin Mohammed Al Khalifa also received the fourth and seventh round of cups from Uthman Ahmed and the NBB representative. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa received the sixth round cup from the NBB representative. The National Bank of Bahrain representative presented the third round cup to the winning owner Sayyid Jawad Marzouk, while the fifth round cup was presented to the winning trainer Haider Ibrahim and the eighth round cup to the winning owner Abdullah Fawzi Nas. The race witnessed exciting competitors between strong horses known for their levels and victories. The Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, received the U.S. Assistant Secretary of State for Near Eastern Affairs, Barbara Leaf, in the presence of Bahrain's Ambassador to the U.S., Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa, the Chief of the Public Security, Tariq bin Hassel Hassan, Director General of Media and Security Culture, Brigadier Mohammed bin Dana. 
General Sheikh Rashid welcomed the visit of Leave to Bahrain to participate in the Manama Dialogue 24, which addresses strategic topics, including the interaction between global security and Middle East security and trends in regional strategic cooperation. He praised the close relations and strategic partnership between Bahrain and the US within the framework of joint efforts to enhance regional security and protect international peace and security, pointing to the importance of continuing cooperation, coordination and exchange of expertise to confront common security challenges. General Sheikh Rasha discussed the initiatives and programs implemented by the Ministry of Interior within the framework of the Constructive Community Partnership, which contributes to enhancing community security, most notably the alternative sentencing and the open prisons program. He also touched upon the national efforts aimed at enhancing Bahrain identity in light of the announcement of the National Conference to reinforce national identity, in addition to a series of initiatives being implemented under the umbrella of the National Plan to strengthen national belonging and consolidate citizenship values. General Sheikh Rasha stressed the importance of maintaining internal security and fortifying society from the effects of conflicts witnessed by the world by introducing programs and initiatives aimed at strengthening identity and consolidating its basic principles and values. The meeting also discussed the distinguished bilateral relations between the two countries, as well as aspects of enhancing security, cooperation to serve common interests. The Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, received UK's Shadow Foreign Commonwealth and Development Secretary, Priti Patel, in the presence of Bahrain's Ambassador to the UK, Sheikh Fawaz bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the Chief of Public Security, Tariq bin Hassan Al Hassan, Director General of Media and Security Culture, Brigadier Mohammed bin Dana. The Minister welcomed the visit of Patel and the British Parliamentary Delegation to participate in the activities of the 20th edition of the Manama Dialogue 24 which witnessed the participation of political, military, security, academic and official figures representing more than 60 countries to discuss the most pressing foreign policy and security challenges in the Middle East. He explained that this strategic and international forum confirms the keenness and commitment of Bahrain to contribute to maintaining international peace and security based on the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa which emphasizes the promotion of peaceful coexistence and the values of tolerance and openness for the security and interest of all. General Sheikh Rasha referred to the recent historic visit of His Majesty the King and his meeting with His Majesty King Charles III of Great Britain, noting the importance of continuing to develop bilateral relations, especially in light of the extremely dangerous changes witnessed by the world in general and the Middle East in particular. He addressed issues including community security and rehabilitation programs being implemented. He also touched on the national efforts aimed at strengthening the Bahraini identity by proposing several initiatives aimed at strengthening the identity and announcing the holding of the national conference to reinforce the Bahraini identity in addition to implementing a number of initiatives under the umbrella of the national plan to strengthen national belonging and consolidate the values of citizenship with the participation of all segments of the society. The Minister of Interior praised the historical and distinguished relations between both countries based on the mutual keenness to open new horizons of joint work security cooperation and a number of security issues and topics that contribute to enhancing regional stability were also discussed. The Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, received the Executive Vice President of the Arab Gulf State Institute in Washington, former U.S. Ambassador to Bahrain, William Rubuk, in the presence of Bahrain's Ambassador to the U.S., Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa, the Chief of Public Security, Tariq bin Hassan Al Hassan, Director General of Media and Security Culture, Brigadier Mohammed bin Dana. The Minister welcomed Ambassador Rubuk's visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain to participate in the Manama Dialogue which is an important intellectual platform for exchanging political views between senior international officials, experts and specialists on issues related to security, peace and stability in the Middle East. General Sheikh Rashid praised the close relations and strategic partnership between Bahrain and the US and its role in enhancing regional security and the efforts made by Ambassador Rubuk during his tenure in Bahrain.
He commended research centers for their role in conducting studies that serve developing the security approach and formulating police uh, policies to deal positively with challenges and rapid changes. He also expressed his appreciation for the Arab Gulf States Institute for Research in Washington and the advanced scientific editions it offers. Ways to enhance cooperation and coordination and exchange expertise between the two sides were also discussed. During the Manama Dialogue Forum 24, an important political achievement was made with the signing of the protocol of accession to, of the UK to the Agreement on Comprehensive Security Integration and Prosperity Agreement, the CSIPA. Conclude, concluded in Washington on September 13th of 2023 between Bahrain and the US. The protocol was signed on behalf of Bahrain by the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif Ben Rashid Zayani, the Assistant Secretary for Near Eastern Affairs, Barbara Leaf, on behalf of the US, while the British Minister of State for the Middle East and North Africa, Hamish Falconer, signed on behalf of the UK. The protocol underscores the collective conviction of signatories that the objectives of the agreement, including strengthening security integration, strengthening mutual deterrence against external threats, and expanding cooperation in trade, science, and technology among like-minded countries in the Middle East, will be significantly enhanced by the UK's accession to this agreement. The signatories to the protocol agreed that Bahrain and the US would jointly invite the UK to accede to this agreement. Dr. Zayani stated that Bahrain is proud that the protocol of the UK's accession to the CSIPA was signed on the territory of Bahrain during the Manama Dialogue Forum 24, which is an important platform for international diplomacy to deal with regional security challenges. He stressed that the comprehensive security integration and prosperity agreement is a testimony to the insightful vision and wise approach of His Majesty the King and the tireless efforts of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister. Dr. Zayani praised the UK's accession to this CSIPA, noting its capabilities in strengthening the bonds of cooperation, partnership and close alliance between the three countries in the field of defence and security, enhancing economic cooperation, trade exchange and investment, progress in science and technology, enhancing network security as well as developing digital ICT infrastructure and enhancing cyber security. The minister stressed that this pivotal agreement marks a new chapter in global cooperation and lays the foundation for a safer and more prosperous future for all involved parties. The US and Bahrain announced their joint decision to invite the UK to accede to the Comprehensive Security Integration and Prosperity Agreement, representing a major step forward in fostering broader regional security integration, bolstering mutual deterrence against external threats, and expanding cooperation in the fields of commerce, science, and technology with like-minded states in support of peace and prosperity in the Middle East. This announcement advances the vision of CSIPA to further cooperation among a broader grouping of countries that share mutual interest and a common vision with respect to deterrence, diplomacy, security, economic cooperation and de-escalation of conflicts in the Middle East. Signed in Washington on September 13th of 23 by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister, CSIPA represents a new framework to promote cooperation across a range of areas from defense and security to science, technology and trade. The agreement also promotes a Middle East that is more secure, prosperous, deters conflicts in the region, enhances regional stability, de-escalates tensions and bolsters trade and economic cooperation. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif Al Zayani, met with the Minister of Foreign Affairs and expatriates of Yemen, Dr. Yahya Mohsen Al Zindani. During the visit to Bahrain to participate in the 20th edition of the Manama Dialogue 24, which is hosted by Bahrain. During the meeting, they discussed the strong relations between both countries and areas of strengthening them and upgrading them to wider levels in a way that serves the interest of both countries and their peoples and benefit them. They also exchange views on the security and political situation in Yemen and the efforts being made to reach a political settlement of the Yemeni crisis in accordance with the approved international references and to end the threat to freedom 
of navigation in the Red Sea, in addition to reviewing a number of issues of common interest on the regional and international fields. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Zayani, met with the Minister of State of Germany, Dr. Tobis Lindner, during his visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain to participate in this 20th edition of the Manama Dialogue 24, which is hosted by Bahrain. During the meeting, they discussed the close relations between both countries, the path of bilateral cooperation, as well as ways to enhance and develop it in all fields to meet common interest. In addition to discussing the latest regional developments and their repercussion on regional security and stability and the humanitarian situation. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdelatif Barashal Zayani, also met with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Estonia, Margus Chaknua, during his visit to Bahrain to participate in this edition of the Manama Dialogue hosted by Bahrain. During the meeting, they discussed aspects of the relations between the two countries and the development and growth that they are witnessing at all levels, as well as ways to enhance bilateral cooperation to serve common interests. They also discussed the latest regional situation and issues of common interest on the regional and international fields. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdelati Fazayani, also met today with the Director General of the International Atomic Energy Agency, Rafael Grossi, on the occasion of his visit to Bahrain to participate in the Manama Dialogue 24, being held in Bahrain from the 6th to the 8th of December. They discussed aspects of bilateral cooperation between Bahrain and the IAEA and the development and growth it is witnessing, which reflects Bahrain's keenness to enhance cooperation with the agency in development fields and build national capacities in the fields of peaceful use of nuclear technology, in addition to discussing a number of topics of common interest. The meeting was attended by the Ministry's Chief of the Strategic Affairs, Ambassador Nancy Abdullah Jamal, and Chief of Coordination, Follow-up and Acting Director of the Minister's Office, Ambassador Saeed Abdul Khaliq Said. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdelhaftif bin Rashid Zayani, met with Norwegian Foreign Minister Epson Barthid on the occasion of his visit to Bahrain to participate in the Manama Dialogue 24. The meeting discussed bilateral relations between both countries based on foundations of mutual respect and appreciation and reviewed ways to enhance these relations and advance them to broader horizons in a way that meets the desired aspirations. Views were also exchanged on various regional and international issues and the situation in the Middle East, in addition to Arab and international efforts aimed at reaching a ceasefire in the Gaza Strip and southern Lebanon and advancing efforts to achieve comprehensive peace in the region and establish an independent Palestinian state with East Jerusalem as its capital. Also present at this meeting were Chief of the Strategic Affairs, Ambassador Nancy Abdullah Jamal, Ambassador of Norway to Saudi Arabia, Christy Tromstow, and the delegation accompanying the minister. The Manama Dialogue 24 continues with several sessions addressing issues of conflict, political and military responses, regional peace initiatives and international approaches to Middle East security. The first session of the second day of the forum dealt with a the theme, 20 years of dialogue, while the second session dealt with political and military responses to conflict in the region. The third session was titled Initiatives for Regional Peace, while the fourth session was on international approaches to Middle East security. The dialogue, which has been held annually since 2004 in Bahrain, is a key element of the Middle East security architecture. It enables national leaders, ministers and policymakers from the Middle East, North America, Europe, Africa and Asia to come together to discuss the most pressing regional security issues. The Minister of Transportation, Telecommunications, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa affirmed that Bahrain is continuing its development projects to enhance its position as a leading regional center in the aviation, air cargo and logistics sector. The Minister expressed pleasure in celebrating International Civil Aviation Day on the 80th anniversary of the signing of the Convention on International Civil Aviation and the establishment of the International Civil Aviation Organization, ICAO. 
He pointed out to Bahrain's long history and expertise in operating the first commercial international airport in the Gulf region and its pioneering achievements in the civil aviation sector. He praised the qualitative developments at Bahrain International Airport, its services and technical systems, and Bahrain's strategic and vital position as an ideal destination for civil aviation and logistics. He pointed out uh, that Bahrain has gained increasing international confidence from international airlines and air cargo companies by using Bahrain International Airport as a launching point for their flights in light of the highest standards of safety and quality in air navigation services and its classification in the first category under a comprehensive audit conducted by the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration. He also said that Bahrain to looks forward to a more advanced stage of growth, prosperity and leadership in the aviation sector and the logistics market by investing in infrastructure and adopting the best global technical and operational practices. On the sidelines of the Manama Dialogue 24, the Minister of Industry and Commerce, Abdullah bin Adel Fakhru, participated in a panel discussion on geopolitical trends and the impact of geopolitics on business in the presence of policymakers from the public and private sectors from different countries. The minister highlighted Bahrain's strategic locations as a gateway to regional and global markets, pointing to the efforts made in investing in modern infrastructure, making Bahrain a leading global logistics center. He also addressed the pivotal role of the energy sector as a key pillar of economies affected by geopolitical dynamics, noting the global shift towards sustainable energy solutions and Bahrain's investments in clean energy initiatives. Minister of Industry and Commerce Abdullah bin Adel Fakhru met with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Estonia, Margus Tsakna, and his delegation on the sidelines of the 20th edition of the Manama Dialogue. The Ministry Industry welcomed the Estonian Foreign Minister and stressed the importance of enhancing and expanding aspects of cooperation, especially in the industrial and commercial sectors. Fakhru affirmed the keenness to develop relations in many fields and strengthen joint coordination frameworks to achieve mutual goals. Under the patronage and support of Captain of Al Forsan team, Her Highness Sheikha Noura bin Ahmed bin Isa Al Khalifa, the FEI dressage challenge was held for the first time in Bahrain at the Military Sports Federation's Al Rafa Arena under the umbrella of the FEI Development and Solidarity Division. The event was a great success with a large number of riders participating as riders were able to showcase their horses, aesthetics and technical movements in front of a large audience. The tournament was part of the efforts led by the captain of El Fossan team, Her Highness uh, Sheikha Noura ben Hamad, to develop the sport of dressage and achieve the desired goals and her support for riders within Bahrain and give them the opportunity to participate in international tournaments. The first place winners were crowned after the conclusion of the tournament. The riders expressed their thanks and appreciations to Her Highness Sheikha Noura ben Hamad for her efforts in providing support and encouragement to participate in such championships that contribute to developing their technical abilities and promoting the sport of dressage in Bahrain. Bahrain will host the meeting of the Standing Committee on Economy and Sustainable Development of the Asian Parliamentary Assembly, APA, with the participation of 77 officials from 18 countries. The meeting comes within the framework of joint cooperation and coordination among Asian countries to discuss common issues related to climate, environment, economic issues, and aspects supporting the implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals. The meeting aims to discuss a number of draft resolutions related to the establishment of an Asian energy market, environmental issues, as well as topics related to ensuring the sustainability of efforts for economic growth. The meeting will also discuss the role of the Parliamentary Assembly in supporting the implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals, water and sanitation in Asian countries, and the Climate Finance Initiative. 
And now to speak more about this, we're joined by a member of the Shura Council, a member of the Bahrain delegation participating in the meeting, Dr. Ibtissam al-Dalal, who delivered the following statement. Under the wise leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa and following the directives of His Royal Highness, uh, Prince Salman bin Hamad al-Khalifa, Crown Prince, Prime Minister, Bahrain is really proudly hosting the APA Standing Committee meeting on economic affairs and sustainable development. This pivotal gathering brings together 77 participants from 18 Asian nations, demonstrating our kingdom's commitment to parliamentary diplomacy. Uh, the primary objective of this meeting is to uh, foster collaboration on uh, critical issues facing Asian nations uh, through constructive dialogue and seven targeted solution projects. We aim to address economic development and the environmental protection and sustainable growth across our region. However, hosting this meeting is reflecting Bahrain's dedication to strengthening international parliamentary cooperation and advancing shared development goals. Our Kingdom's selection to host these meetings for two constructive sessions underscores Bahrain's growing influence in international parliamentary affairs and highlights our advanced legislative practices. This achievement really reflects our successful diplomatic approach and reinforces our position as a key facilitator of regional parliamentary cooperation. The Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, headed by Chairman Samir bin Abdullah Nas and First Vice Chairman Khaled Mohammed Najibi, participated in the 65th meeting of the Board of Directors of the Federation of GCC Chambers held at the Dead Sea in the Hashimat Kingdom of Jordan. Nas stressed that the Board of Directors of the Federation of GCC Chambers was informed about the progress of the Customs Union of the Council States, the most important challenges, the authority's strategy and the private sector's benefit from the Union, noting that the Gulf Customs Union constitutes a care, a core for building a no negotiating economic force in the field of import and export, in which the Gulf states seek to confirm their ability to establish a bloc that supports local products and sets unified policies that enable the GCC states to enhance the economic economic infrastructure in various sectors, calling for the need to enhance work and raise the level of customs union among just GCC states to achieve the desired economic development. For his part, Najibi stressed that the Federation of GCC Chambers continues its path in enhancing the increase of trade exchange between the GCC and continues to strive to provide the appropriate environment to develop the performance of the private sector and enhance its competitive capabilities, noting that completing the steps of the customs union and unifying custom systems and procedures is one of the main goals that are being sought to facilitate the movement of goods and services, enhance economic integration, and achieve a common vision for a unified economy. The Parliamentary Division of Bahrain participated in a webinar titled Building Trust and Building Peace, How Parliaments Can Bridge the Gaps. The seminar organized by the IPU in cooperation with the World Academy of Arts and Sciences aimed to introduce parliamentarians to scientific mediation skills in order to bridge societal gaps and promote dialogue in order to enhance national and international peace and security. During the seminar, Dalal al Zaid stressed that Bahrain is witnessing distinguished and internationally recognized practices and applications in terms of engaging all components of society within the path of national action. Dr. Bassam uh, bin Mohammed pointed out the importance of strengthening the role and position of the national state as a reference point and a basic pillar for providing and guaranteeing all rights.